106 subscribers and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new guest in the hot seat. This is Officer Tanya. I'm excited to have another person on the show who shares a similar style to myself in that we are both female but wear more traditionally men's clothing or dress more androgynously. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 34. I have two dogs. I am a recent graduate of, of the police academy. I just hit the streets. I do wear a uniform every day, 10 to 12 hours a day. So it's kind of nice to wear normal clothes when I get off work. If you could change one thing about your police uniform to make it more fashion forward, what would it be? A skinny pants. I have my pants tailored so they're slimmer in the legs. You do? <laughs> yeah. They're like a polyester cargo pant. Mm -hmm. You get them, they're really wide legged. So I just take them to the tailor and they tailor them to my leg shape and... Officer Tanya! I still get my cargo <laughs> pockets, but they're a little bit slimmer in the legs. Were you also in the army or... Yes, so I was. Area? Yes. And so you had a uniform there too? Yes. And those are big parachute pants too that you tuck into your boots. So. Did you tailor those or is that no, not an option? <laughs> That's not an option. <laughs> That'd be like an Article 15 or something. Which uniform style do you prefer? Military or police? Oh, definitely police uniform. It's a baby blue shirt, so they pull out my eye color. <laughs> Your normal style is pretty casual. This is normally the set kind of stuff that I wear because I like to be comfy. I don't wear jeans a whole lot. Like, I literally live in sweatpants. I will go out, I will eat in sweatpants, <laughs> I will go to a fancy dinner in sweatpants. <laughs> Typically, I shop at American Eagle or Hollister. Do you feel any age related shame to shopping in those Absolutely in your 30s? Not. Absolutely not, because I don't look like I'm 34. So. so, do you prefer to shop in stores or online? In stores, because I'm a, I like to try things out. Do you ever ever have an issue like deciding what dressing room to go in? Uh, sometimes I kind of feel it out depending on like whether the the fitting room attendant's younger or older. Like yeah. you go to Target and you go to try some stuff on, you get like an old lady that's been there for like thirty freaking years, and she looks at you like you're a boy. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm going in this one. So because you typically wear men's clothing, do you have any like fit issues that you run into because you don't have like a male body but you're wearing men's clothing? Definitely, my jeans are. They always fit weird because I have like wide birthing hips. So. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it sucks. I wish like if I could just shave them off a little bit. <laughs> Like, my pants would fit perfect. What about shirts? Uh, shirts don't really have too much of an issue. I'm extra small, so like, okay. the only the thing I have an issue with is finding extra small. If I don't want this jacket. You got that sent to you, didn't you, Nicole? This is a little bit different, but yeah, I have yeah. one and I actually like it a lot. Item number two is a navy... Like a little blue sweater. sweater. It's a button-up blue and it's super soft. Another button-up. Well, that's a pretty color. I don't know if you can see the camera, but it is kind of striped. Oh, okay. Yeah, we get it in there. And then I got a pair of pants. I have a pair similar to this already. Wonder if after so long wearing your police blues, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to have like an aversion to Navy in your <laughs> personal life. We're back and Tanya is modeling the first item from the box. This is the Rye by Hawker Rye Mahoney Brushed Flannel. So Tanya, do you want to show us the cuff on it? I mean, it's just a two button. Two button. Tortoise shell button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got the, the one pocket. Yeah, one pocket. Mm -hmm. Can you turn around for us? Such a swift turn, my goodness! It has a little bit of tapering, so it's a little bit more body contour, yeah. so it doesn't look such a boxy flannel. It fits really well, like, for yeah. extra small, it's perfect height. Yeah. Welcome back to the next two pieces in the box. First up, Tanya is modeling the Aylesbury lined Arlo work jacket. I actually wasn't too sure about it just because brown's not really my color. Okay. But when I tried it on, I liked it. So oh, nice. It has a cool plaid lining with a little inside pocket there. Mm -hmm. It's not the warmest jacket. No, it's like a but fall jacket. It'd be good for fall. For our four or five days of fall that we have. <laughs> yes. It really reads more of like a, a mushroomy, you know, almost an olive. And so you could wear this with brown pieces, but you could also wear this with black pieces. Yes. Mushroom. It's everybody's answer. This is the Joshua Thermal Crew Neck Sweater, mm -hmm. also by Hawker Rye. It does have the little uh, triangular... Uh, what do you call that thing? A little stitch. Stitch. <laughs> stitch. It's textured. It's like a thermal texture. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Ribbed cuffs, ribbed along the bottom. It looks nice on you. And it does. It brings out your eyes. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> we are back with the final two pieces from the box. This time we're going with a little more, I wouldn't say formal, but 
Dressy. Dressy. Dressy outfit. You are now looking at the A-frame Stockholm stretch poplin shirt in burgundy. Well, it looks like we've got a pop top collar. <laughs> I like it. It's soft. Uh, it fits well. It's perfect in the shoulders. It's not too tight. And if you could do that spin for us again. <laughs> do you have a lot of occasions to wear a shirt like that? Yeah. Like if I actually like went on a date, this is something I would wear. I don't wear sweatpants on dates. <laughs> so this is just a pretty basic navy chino. The Hawker Rye Essential Wash Stretch Slim Fit Pants. Pretty stretchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe a little bit long. A little bit long. <laughs> But they look nice with the shirt. They sent you like a, yeah, they do. She sent you a full outfit there, which is always something I appreciate. But pockets, they're not actually pockets. Oh. They're just trickery. Well, I'm used to that because as, as a girl who wears girls' clothing, they never give us real pockets. I need real pockets. So I would yeah. take the, I would probably take the stitching off. Yeah, they're pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. They're nice. Yeah. Fit. What's our transition? Let me keep this one. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> the first item on bag or untag it is this thermal sweater. Are you going to bag that sweater or untag that sweater? I'm going to untag it. Untag. Next. He brushed flannel. Is this a bag it or an untag it? Mm. Untag it. Mm. Untag it. Mm. Untag it. And then this burgundy shirt that I would call purple. That's an untag. Three for three. So these pants. For my sanity, I'm gonna, I'm gonna untag them. All right, all right. We're on tag it. The jacket. This is going to be temporarily bagged. Oh. Because <laughs> I'm gonna return it for the proper size. Okay. So your first stitch fix is a five for five, technically. Thoughts on your first stitch fix experience? It's good. On uh, Dex box, definitely gonna be an athletic. Oh, Max box. box. We've already committed to a box. Yes. Okay. I'd actually be excited to do an athletic video because that's something we haven't had a lot of. I'll do my hair for that video. <laughs> <laughs> With that, thank you, Tanya, for joining us. Thanks to everyone for watching the video. Subscribe, all that stuff, and we hope to see you in the next one. No, I mean, I definitely, I used to be that way, but mm -hmm. now I just don't care. I think my sister kind of dragged me out of it because every time... We went on a road trip once, and I'll give you this example. We went to rest, like a rest stop, and we were walking into the restroom, and it's men's this way, women's this way, and my sister and I are walking in. This guy comes out. He's like, excuse me, sir. You're going in the wrong one. My sister turned around. She's like, that's a girl. She has boobs. <laughs> and I was like, oh, so that's a thing. <laughs> I'm just going to call it let my sister handle it. <laughs> yeah. So ever since then, I just don't care anymore. Like, if somebody wants to look at me, like, you're going to Nope, I have tips, thanks so. <laughs> <laughs>